Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my January favorites. And because I missed December doing my yearly favorites, I do have a lot of really great products to share with you. So I've been using them a little bit longer than my typical months. So I feel like I have a lot of really great stuff to share with you this month. So without further ado, let's hop right into my January favorites. I wanted to mention this first just because it's really come in handy this past month because my son had a cold and so did my husband. So I have this diffuser here from Vanity Planet and you just fill it with water. I already had water in it and it spilt on me. <laughs> You just fill it with water and then add drops of essential oils. You have to buy the essential oils separately, but I've been really getting into essential oils lately. I've even made my own bath bombs. And if you follow me on Snapchat or my vlog channel, you would see my journey in making bath bombs, but I finally figured out how to properly do it. But back to the diffuser. Uh, this came in handy when my husband and son had a cold because I used eucalyptus essential oil in it and that's kind of the smell of Vicks if you are familiar with that and it's just really good for when you're congested and have a cold. So I put this on in their rooms when they were uh, a little bit congested and I feel it really does help them. And you can also use this to naturally fragrance your home. So I have vanilla, lavender, rose, essential oils that I can put in here. And it just naturally scents my home or a room because it won't fill your whole house. So whatever room you put this in, it does work for. You can put on the mist. There's a light that goes on, which I'll show a clip of. And you can have it on for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or 120 minutes. I love that it lights up. My son actually really enjoys watching it because you can see the water kind of moving in it and the diffuser changes colors. So it's just really nice to have. Vanity Planet did offer me a coupon code for my viewers in case you wanted to pick one of these up. They're not very expensive. And I'll put the coupon code right here for, it's a really good amount off. You get a really good percentage off, but I can't remember offhand what it is, but if you're looking for a really nice diffuser to use in your home, if you're into essential oils, naturally fragrancing your home, or uh, using this for if someone has a cold or any time you need a diffuser for, uh, then definitely look into this one because it's come in quite handy. It works really well and I've really been enjoying it this past month. For makeup, I wanted to talk about my favorite mascara and this is hands down my favorite mascara of all time. So this is my new favorite mascara of all time. I know I go through stages where I try new mascaras and then they end up being my favorite. This is definitely my favorite. I'm so blown away by it. And it's from the drugstore. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar. And I love L'Oreal mascaras. I love the Voluminous line. But this has the two sides on it. And I've never liked a drugstore mascara primer but this one is amazing. I love this so much that I would never repurchase my Dior Maximizer. And I've been on the hunt forever if you guys have been following my channel for a really good primer and this one's from the drugstore. So I didn't have high hopes for it, but it blew me away and I'm so happy with it. And the primer is just amazing as well as the mascara. So this really builds volume in my lashes and my lashes aren't that great as you guys uh, probably know from watching my videos, my tutorials. I just don't have a lot of lash, but this makes them very voluminous. And the mascara end is one of the natural type of bristles and I prefer those. This is just made for me pretty much. So it just has a natural bristle brush and there are fibers in this mascara and every fiber mascara that I've tried has always flaked on me or gotten in my contact lenses or just not worked for me. So as soon as I heard fibers, there's a primer, I'm like, this isn't gonna be good for me, but this is amazing. The fibers don't flake on my skin. Uh, they don't get in my contacts. It's just been a really great mascara, and I think I've talked about this for a couple minutes already, uh, but I love it. It's so good. So if you guys are looking for a new mascara, or even if you're not, I definitely check this one out, especially if you want a good primer. This is amazing. So, so definitely recommend the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar. It's new and it's amazing, it's so, so good. Then the next product I wanted to mention, I'm going to mention both, but one I actually prefer more than the other. So these are the Ofra highlighters and they're in collaboration with the Dupe That Girls and you should follow them on Instagram if you're not because they have an amazing Instagram. This is the more golden one, which would you would think I would prefer more. It's called You Do You 
It looks like that, if you can see that right there, just a really pretty golden highlight. But I actually prefer the more pink tone one, which is called You Glow Girl. Such cute names on these. They're so soft. They're so nice. And I do have a coupon code with Ofra. It's a non-affiliate code. It's for 30% off if you care to purchase these. So I don't make any money off of it. It's just a coupon code for you guys to use in case you guys want them. So uh, this is the You Glow Girl, which I actually prefer. It just looks amazing on. I do layer these as well, and they look so good. I'll put the price in the video, but they're not too pricey. And with the 30% off, it definitely helps. So uh, definitely check out these if you're looking for a new highlighter. I typically don't go for more pink tone ones, but this is a really, really good one if you're looking for a color similar to that. I'd highly recommend the You Glow Girl. For primer, I found one at the drugstore that I love, and I don't know. I was just lately I've been finding so many good finds, and I've never found mascara primer or face primer from the drugstore that I really, really love. And I have to say that I love this one from Maybelline New York, and it's their Blur and Smooth Primer, and I'm wearing it today. It just works so well. I don't find it to be overly drying, so if you have dry skin like me, it will work for you because sometimes the smoothing primers don't really work for you because they do typically are more matte. But this does work for me and I really love it. So it's a great drugstore primer and my favorite that I found to date. Some lashes that I've been loving, the first ones I'm going to mention are these ones from MAC. They're the number 35s. Typically, I do not like MAC lashes, but I've recently fell in love with these. And you guys always ask me what they are when I'm wearing them. They are the MAC 35s. I had these on my yearly favorites video, and in a tutorial, I did wear these as well. So they're just so nice and wispy and full. They're very unique. I can always spot when anyone's wearing these. A lot of companies are making ones to dupe this, so I'm sure you could find a more affordable alternative. Like I know the Salon Perfect range does make the 615s, I think they are. You can get those at Walmart only in the US, not in Canada, because I really, really want them, but I haven't been able to get them. But apparently they're really hard to get a hold of, but they're very similar to the MAC 35, which I have been loving and using so much. And the next pair of lashes I was going to show you aren't in here, they're on my eyes right now. And I might have actually mentioned these before, I know I've mentioned the brand before, but I love the Icon lashes and they recently gave me a coupon code for a discount for them as well. And this one is an affiliate one so you do not have to use it if you do not want, but it will give you some cash off. So if you do like these lashes that I'm wearing, they're the 3D Silk. So they're not mink, they're 3D Silk and these are called Lash in the City. And these are really, really unique. I'll try and get a close-up once I take these off my eyes and I'll put a close-up in the video, but they just kind of taper off to the side. I don't have any lash like this and they just look really, really nice and dramatic, but not too dramatic, you know what I mean? But I love the shape that they give my eyes. So this is definitely my favorite one from Icon right now and I do have a discount code for you guys if you care to check it out. Then I also recently picked up the Anastasia Brow Definer, the new brow pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I got mine in the shade Dark Brown. I still don't think Dark Brown is the right shade for me, even though I have dark brown hair. <laughs> I just think it's too warm, or my eyebrows always pull it too warm. Uh, so, But I don't like going to darker shades because then I feel like it looks too black. So. I haven't been able to find my perfect shade in the Anastasia ones, I find, but I do love how it's shaped, the wrong end. That's the spoolie end. So I love how it is shaped. It's kind of like a triangle, you can't really tell, but you can really get nice hairs with the point, but also nice lines with the edges. So it's just really great. I believe this is double the product of the regular Brow Wiz, and it's only a few dollars more. So. Definitely worth it to get this one if you're eager to try it out. I really, really like it, so check that one out. And the last things I wanted to mention are all random. First and most importantly, I got this at the end of December, December 31st to be exact, on New Year's Eve. My YouTube Silver Play Button Award came in the mail and I was so happy to receive this. I unboxed it on Snapchat. This is my reminder of you guys. Every single day of my life I look at this and smile and know I have over 100,000 friends out there who support me and it just means the world to me. 
And yeah, I just wanted to thank you again for this. I'm going to always thank you guys uh, for getting me to where I am because I've been having some really amazing opportunities. I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> and it's because of you guys. I was not expecting getting emotional right there. <laughs> Trying to keep it together to finish the video, but just know that you are appreciated from me. Your comments, your support does not go unnoticed. I just do this because I love it and I, I think that shows. And I just want you guys to know that I love you so, so much. You guys have changed my life. For sure. <laughs> so this past week I was actually able to fly out to Montreal with L'Oreal Paris Canada to film with them and that was a highlight of this month for me and it's because of you guys that I get these opportunities and I just want to thank L'Oreal for the opportunity as well and that was just a highlight of my month. I never dreamed that I would be doing anything like that so thank you so much to everyone who's made it happen. I'm getting way too emotional. <laughs> Something less serious <laughs> that I need to talk about right now. I love this scarf <laughs> that I took on the plane with me and I've just been really enjoying it. Have to end it on something that I can laugh about. Um, so this scarf, it's a blanket scarf. I brought it to the movies with me on the plane. You can fold it out and it's a, you can wear it as a scarf or a blanket, hence the name blanket scarf. I just think it's really chic and nice. It's super soft. I love the colors in it and I got it from Nasty Gal. So uh, check it out if you're interested in the blanket scarf. Thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry if I made you uncomfortable, getting emotional a little bit there. <laughs> I did not expect that. And thank you again, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video.